I have no choice. I have to. I have to be an environmentalist, and it affects us all, wherever we are. But that's the stuff I learned from my dad. You know. Well, my dad was from Kithera. He came to Australia as a child. He went to Australia as a child, and my mother was uh, from Athens, and she came as a baby as well. And I grew up in rural Australia. And what I learned from my dad was uh, was the uh, the land. He loved the land, and my mother, and 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 so all of our life out there was play and uh, really getting to understand. And that's why. The, these environmental issues end up in our story. My father, you know, basically, you know, was um, grew up with olive trees and you know fruits and so on on Kithra, and really loved it. And uh, we picked it up as kids from him. What do you think that Hollywood and the film industry should be doing to try to get the message about the environment out there? I don't know that Hollywood it, it's their only responsibility, but if they're if it is part of your story, then uh, obviously you, you you know why, why not try to get into your story? I think it's driven by science and and politics. Our country plays lip service to it, and depending on on the colour of the government, uh, uh, you know it. it, it they, they, they see it as an economic problem. I, I think it's much more than an economic problem. Certainly, economics is a part of it, but it can't drive it. And uh, and you can work it to your economic advantage if you get top of it. Otherwise, it's you know it's a destruction. I mean, when you look at the Mad Max movies, they, they they're kind of cautionary tales. That's not the principal driving narrative, but that they're cautionary tales. So um, so you know I don't know. I can't. I can't help it. It's in my stories. I was lucky enough to have a medical education. I understand a lot about scientific principle. It's not a, a matter of opinion or ideology. A plane flies because of science. We trust that. But we don't accept it for everything, which is kind of crazy. Even chaotic events like weather changes, we can anticipate the weather, we can anticipate hurricanes. We we, we're modeling that really, really well. Why can't we? accept that uh, what's happening to the environment can also be modelled by science and, uh, and the remedies are. So I don't think it's necessarily storytellers, it's, it's all of us. Mm -hmm. It's our planet, you know, it's our solar system. We better, we're the only, you know, the only people who seem to, the only intelligence that seems to exist in it. It affects whatever Whatever we believe, whatever our religion, whatever our politics, whatever, it affects all of us. We don't have any choice. My mother is now in her 90s and she's getting to the point where she probably can't go back to Greece because of travel and so on. Uh, but, you know, always, always love going back there, particularly with our family. Kids, you know, a lot of Australians, second, third, even fourth generation Australians go back to Greece uh, because I just love it so much. I think something about the culture, the island life and the, it, it's just a wonderful, the village life, the multi-generational sort of those wonderful feasts, the the artisan meals, all of those things and, and, and the stories, the wonderful, wonderful. I'm a storyteller mainly because I grew up hearing stories around the family table and the extended family. It's a very Greek thing to do. Mm -hmm.